Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is a light speed tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will demonstrate the account signup process for light speed, how to create your store and how to complete the steps required to launch your store. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. To use light speed for your business, you need an account. If you already have an account then use this login button on the top right side or else use this free trial button to create an account. Now you need to select your business type. You can continue with retail, restaurant or e-commerce. If you want to start your retail store then click on this start now button. If you want to launch your restaurant then click on this start now button. And if you want to start your e-commerce business, then click on the Get Started Now button. Here we are going ahead with e-commerce business. Now you will be asked about your e-commerce type. If you want to start only a store, then select the e-commerce only option. Or else select this option if you want to start your retail POS with an e-commerce website. Now you need to select what type of product you will sell. As you can see here, there are many categories like apparel and footwear, bicycle, book, toys and hobby, electronics and much more. Select your category according to your product as we are planning to sell watches. So we are going ahead with jewelry and accessories. Now you need to create your account. Here enter your full name. Then here enter your email address. Select your country code and enter your phone number here and lastly enter your company name which will also be your store's name and once you have filled all these details click on the get started button on the next step verify your name and phone number and then click on the next button a verification code will be sent to your mobile number enter it here and then click on the next button on the next step, you have to select your web shop industry category from this drop down menu and then tick the box of terms and conditions and privacy policy and then finally click on the finish button. Now your account will be created and you will be redirected to your dashboard. In the top of the left side bar here, you will see your account type and below that you will see your store's name and the URL. In the left sidebar, you will see tabs like statistics, orders, products, customers, checkout, design, content, marketing, blogs, apps, tools and settings. On the top right side from here, you can visit your online store. To launch your e-commerce store with Lightspeed, you need to complete these six steps. We are going to demonstrate all these steps one by one. The first step is to create a Lightspeed account which we have already completed and here you can also see that it has been marked as done. Now the second step is to create your first product. So click on the add product button. On this page you need to fill in the details about your product. We are demonstrating this by adding a watch to our store. This is the visibility section. Here enter the title and then here enter the full title. Here enter the brand's name and then here enter the supplier's name. If you are the supplier then enter your store's name. And lastly enter a description for your product here. Now in the next section here enter the price of your product and here enter the in stock quantity of the product. This is the product set section. Here you can replace your current variants with a predefined set of sizes, colors or styles. Now select the delivery time frame from the drop down menu. As this is our first product we need to create it. Click on the add a new one text and in the pop up window here enter the title of delivery time frame. Then here enter the time frame for the delivery. Lastly, here enter the in stock and out of stock messages and finally click on the save button. Now select the delivery time frame from the drop down 
and then click on the continue button. Your product will be updated. In the next page, click here to upload the product image. After uploading, it will be displayed here and then click on the save button. Now come back to your dashboard. Here you can see that the second step will also be marked as done. Now let's move on to the third step in which you need to select your payment options. So click on the add provider button. On this page you can see a list of payment providers which will depend on your store's country of origin. And along with the payment provider's name, you will find its supported payment methods. So go through the list to find a suitable one for you and then click on the add button next to it. Now come back to your dashboard. Here you can see that the third step will also be marked as done. Now let's move on to the fourth step in which you need to select shipment methods. So click on the select method button. On this page you can see there are two types of shipping methods. First is manual and the second is integrated. Click on this button to add a manual shipping method and then select the type in the pop-up window. You can choose between default shipping, in-store pickup and cash and delivery and then click on the continue button. Now on this page here enter the shipping method title and enter a description here. You need to specify the shipping rates. For this click on the add shipping rate button. In the pop-up window, here enter the minimum and maximum weight for shipping and then here enter your shipping rate and then click on the save button. Now scroll down and from here select the countries where this shipping method will be available from the list. And then finally click on the save button. Now come back to your dashboard and here you can see that the fourth step is also marked as done. Moving on to the fifth step in which you need to customize your online store, click on the theme settings button. On this page, customize your store according to your requirements. Use the sidebar section to customize it. And when you are done customizing, then click on the publish button on the top right corner. Now again come back to your dashboard and here you can see that the fifth step is also marked as done. Now we just have the last step remaining in which you have to finish setting up your online store. Click on the contact light speed button. A pop-up window will open and here you will find the contact number of your account manager. You need to contact them for finalizing your online store. So here you can see that all the required steps have been completed. With this, we have completed our video on Lightspeed tutorial for beginners. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you benefited from it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.